What are the biggest differences between the diesel VH4 and VHX 100 amp heads? The big picture difference is analog versus digital, though both amps have tube circuits. But the VHX 100 adds digital effects, recallable presets, an XLR direct out, and even Bluetooth connectivity. If you want this digital flexibility, the VHX 100 is otherwise similar to the VH4. If you want the more analog approach, stick to the VH4. Main differences between the VH4 and VHX 100. Preamp tubes. The VH4 has 712AX7 tubes, while the VHX 100 has only five. Power tubes. The VH4 uses 46L6 tubes, whereas the VHX 100 can use either 46L6s or el 34 ets based on availability. Effects and EQ. The VH4 is primarily analog with a traditional three-band EQ presence and deep controls. The VHX 100 incorporates digital effects like reverb, pitch shifting, delay, and chorus, and a graphic EQ. Digital presets. The VHX 100 features digital programmability with up to 99 recallable presets, which is not included in the VH4. Connectivity. The VHX 100 adds Bluetooth for MIDI, an XLR DI out with IR cab simulators, and USB connectivity, once again emphasizing digital features. Width and weight. The VH4 is wider at 29 inches and lighter at 47 pounds, compared to VHX 100's 23.5 inch width and 53 pound weight. Now for the similarities. Total power, both are 100 watt amplifiers. Number of channels, each amp features four channels. Circuit type, both are tube amplifiers. MIDI compatibility, each amp offers MIDI connectivity, allowing for external control. Foot switch. Neither amp head includes a foot switch, but both provide the option to connect one. Bias type. Both have adjustable fixed bias, enabling users to tweak tube response. If you have questions about the VH4 and VHX100 or how they compare to each other, feel free to reach out in the comments section.